wife constantly cheating and begging to come back, and all I can do is, part 1. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Reddit cheating story. Before we start, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you won't miss another cheating story goes live. I'm hurting. I'm shaking. I'm mad, angry, sad, confused, etc. etc. I'm going to write this for my own personal therapy, and with the hopes that it helps someone else out. Long wall of text incoming. TLDR at the bottom. Yesterday I packed a bag and left. No more lies. No more hiding from it. No more personal hurt. I stayed for too long. Gave too many chances. Now I am here. Backstory. My wife of 11 years, two kids together, cheated on me two years ago. Well, technically it started before that, but I caught her two years ago. Our marriage was rocky by year five. We had started growing apart, annoyances became resentment, resentment became anger and we began fighting over the smallest things. It felt like we were business partners or roommates. By that time we had one kid, and another one the way, so we tried to work things out. It didn't get better. We didn't communicate. I was busy with my career, and because she had a more flexible job, I assumed she would take care of the kids and house and her job while I focused on my career. Looking back now, that was a huge mistake. I let things fall apart, I took our relationship for granted, I took her taking care of the house and kids for granted. It doesn't excuse what she would end up doing, but I think it's healthy to be able to look back on it and learn from it for future relationships. I should have communicated. I should have helped more, too late now. A few years later she began to change. Little things. On her phone more, started to drink a bit more, changed her grooming habits, started staying awake later, started to get snappy at me when I asked her what she was doing, she put a password on her phone. I confronted her about my suspicions and she unloaded on me. Screaming that she wasn't doing anything, and how dare I accuse her, and I must be projecting so maybe I was the one cheating, and just on and on and on. I backed down. I bought her flowers to apologize. I became extremely introspective and realized I had been a shitty husband and partner and started to help more with the kids, the house, turned down business meetings out of town, I tried to be present, but the reasons I suspected something was wrong in the first place didn't go away. I talked to my friends about it, I asked them their advice, they all thought she was doing something, but like good friends, they are just looking out for me I thought. So one night I was talking to a good friend and I told him that my wife was asleep upstairs, and I would check once and for all. I took her phone and unlocked it with her thumb as she slept. My heart was racing. But there was nothing there. A few short deleted texts, some odd half messages, Scrolling down farther I get to a message from a guy named M underscore. Looks innocent, but then I see it oops, sorry, didn't use the secret app. What? What app could he be talking about? So I started to search through her phone, it was hidden behind folders but I found her WhatsApp. I opened it. Clicked on the first message. And was greeted by a picture of my naked wife, followed by another and another, and a dick pic from this guy, and a video, and more and more. I didn't know him, I was shocked. I saw there with my heart on the floor. I cannot express how I felt in that moment, totally destroyed. I started reading, he lived in Vegas, she visited him with her two best friends a few months ago, they hooked up, he was a total perv, asking her to do threesomes, and sending her shit to wear, trying to get her friends involved, etc. The way she spoke back to him wasn't even my wife. She doesn't talk like that. She only likes missionary, lol. She doesn't ever want to talk about sexual things, who was this person? The conversation went back three years. On my 10-year anniversary I took my wife out of town and planned a romantic night. Turns out when she went to the bathroom to change into something more comfortable she sent pictures to him first, and they congratulated each other on her making it to the 10-year mark, if you live in California. You understand why. I was sitting in our hotel bed waiting for her like an idiot, sigh. Anyways, I lost it. I woke her up tears running down my face, asking her why 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 why. I punched a hole through a double layered wall, plus the glass picture hanging on it. Blood streaming down my hand, I was a mess. We fought all night, we talked, we fought, we talked. She said it just happened, he was an old friend who was kind to her, nice, and she wasn't getting that from me. Bullshit. The next day we did a lot of talking. I asked her what she wanted to do. We had two kids, a house, careers, surrounded by good friends and neighbors that loved us. How could I just throw it all away? She begged me to stay, she told me she would change. 
I thought long and hard about it. Consulted with friends and select family. For all the reason above. I decided to stay. That our marriage wasn't perfect. That I had been in situations as well where I was tempted, and while I never did anything when it came to that moment, I could see how she could mess up. I gave her a second chance. I told her that I needed her to block him from all media. To delete WhatsApp. To unlock her phone so I could check it every now and then, just so I can regain trust. That she remain present in our marriage, in our love life. She agreed to everything. She said she felt like she was living a double life, and it was a weight off her shoulders. And it was good. And for once in a long time, we were good. The next three months were awesome. Hanging out, sex life skyrocketed, we cared for each other again. Then I went out of town on my annual trip with my closest guy friends. I was gone for five days, and things seemed fine at first. She was flirty, sent me some sexy pics while I was away, told me she missed me all the time. Then she accidentally posted a nude that she told me she deleted after she sent to me to her Instagram story. Oops. Apparently only two or three people saw it, and she pulled it down right away. I saw it. I asked her why she did that, who was she trying to send it to? How could a pic like that you said you deleted now end up on Insta? I began to become suspicious again. The moment I got home I went to look in her phone, nothing. Clean. Then it hit me, she had a work phone as well. I opened it, and there it was. First message was to Claire. Hey baby, it's Claire, or Charlotte, or... I forget who I'm supposed to be, lol. Hope you had a great day and got home safe. To which my wife just replied with a heart. Claire, as it turns out, was actually C underscore. A father who volunteered at my kid's elementary school with my wife. I wasn't done looking. I searched more. I got her other phone again and looked through her Snapchat. She had a message received from a guy named P underscore. I asked her about this, by this point we were yelling, that was the only message I saw on Snapchat from him was yes baby, looks so good. Everything else was deleted. She said he was a personal trainer who she was sending progress photos to, nothing more, she swore. Then I swiped up, which I guess opened safe Snapchat conversations, and it was a hell of a lot more than a personal trainer. She went ballistic on me, grabbed her phone, and slammed the door to the bedroom, telling me I was crazy, and my constant invasion of her privacy was driving her farther away from me. I was a controlling, mentally abusive asshole according to her. Over the next few days it didn't stop. The discoveries. More conversations from different guys, all inappropriate. All sexual. All flirtatious. A underscore, C underscore, P underscore, J underscore, J underscore, M underscore, AB underscore, P underscore, the list went on. She told me it was all from before, from before our big fight, that she wasn't doing it anymore. That it was a fantasy escape, that she never did anything physical with any of these guys. She asked me to try again, that I needed to trust her, and that she was telling the truth. Again I thought long and hard about it, and this time. I stayed. Again. I gave her another chance. I told myself that I was doing it for the kids. What I told a friend was I would rather live in hell the next 10 years until my kids are out the house, than miss even a single day in their lives, my kids need their dad. Again things were good. Not great, but good. We were back in a groove. Everything was better. We were getting along, not fighting, the kids loved it as well as we were all spending more time together. Then things started to revert back to the old ways, little by little. She started again to spend more time on her phone. Before we set a no phones after 6pm rule for the house, and little by little that was broken, by both of us. She started to become distant again. She started to tell little white lies, and then bigger lies. I can tell when my wife is lying, I always have been able to, drives her crazy. So I knew she was lying, I would ask her about it, she would blow up at me, freak out and yell that I'm crazy and to back off, and she isn't doing anything. I was no longer affected by her yelling, my intuition was telling me something was off again. I went crazy. I started looking through phone usage records, I would place items and draws open certain amounts to see what she was using, and where she was going. I did a people look up search of just about every number sending texts to her phone. I wasn't going to be tricked and manipulated again, I was all over her, all over it. I wasn't getting played again. But I was, and I did. It finally came to an end when I used her thumb to again unlock her phone, and again I found her WhatsApp hidden away, and again I saw messages, this time to a guy named S underscore, who is actually a work client of mine. 
those messages contain some of the graphic, leave nothing to the imagination images, that would make porn stars blush. Then there was the messages again to see underscore. Nothing overly graphic, a titty picture here or there, but not much else, but mainly just messages of you deserve better than him, and run away with me, and let's never come back, and I want to go camping and lay out under the stars with you, and last but not least, I think I love you. There are more to come. Find out the update of this story, check our channel or the description. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for any future cheating stories.